Good evening, and welcome to the fifth grade Stations of the Cross. We shall start with an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, we are about to walk with your Son through, his, through the stages of his suffering and death. We know that Jesus' sacrifice gave us the name Christian. We know that Jesus saved us and brought us new life through his sacrifice on the cross and his rising from the dead three days later. Help us to understand a little better and to love a little more. Help us to live more unselfish lives. Open our minds to help us see how we can better follow in Jesus' footsteps. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was betrayed for 30 pieces of silver by one of his disciples, Judas. He was given over to Pontius Pilate, who then sentenced him to die on the cross. We should learn from this to always be loyal to our friends and never give up on them. How can we be loyal to our friends? Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus took up his cross, he did not complain even when he was about to die. We should learn from this by not complaining when we do our usual work. Everything we do without complaining is better work. How can we be more like Jesus in bearing our daily crosses? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was walking for a long time. He grew tired and fell. The cross must have been too heavy for him to bear and, but he still struggled to get back up again and carry it. Have you ever fallen hard and felt like you can't get up? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus walks past a crowd of people, and he sees his mother. He then stops to complain, but simply to quietly be with her, even for a few moments. This comforts her, and it must have comforted him, too. He continues on past the crowd. Have you ever been comforted by your mother? Have you ever comforted your own mother? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fifth station. Jesus is helped by Simon. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We ask God to help us to help others like Simon. He helped Jesus even though he, do, he did not fully understand what was going on. Would you help someone even though you do not fully understand what is happening? 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Station 6. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica steps out from the crowds to wipe the sweat and blood off the face of Jesus. She offers him some relief from the heat of the sun and from his suffering. We ask God to help us be like her. Would you have the courage to help someone who is in pain and suffering? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Station 7. Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus' cross gets heavier, he falls a second time. He feels the pain piercing his back, but still continues the walk. The pain is cunning him like a hundred knives. Yet, he continues, even when you fall, you need to get up. And all this, even though he did not do anything to deserve it. How would you feel if people made fun of you and punished you for something you didn't do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus is met by the women of Jerusalem who have followed and cared for him. He sees them and feels some comfort. He knows his time is near, but still, he thinks for them and not himself. He tells them to look out for themselves and not for him. Would you be like and to think of other people even if you're in pain? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus falls into the town. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. It says, by our holy cross, Jesus is weak and very tired. He falls a third time. He struggles to get up and continue on. He endures his pain and sacrifices himself for all our sins. Why should we complain when we don't know how much Jesus had to go through when he offered himself for us? Can we offer ourselves selflessly like him? Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, that kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Station 10. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus arrives at Calvary, his body was already badly beaten, bruised and bleeding. Yet this was not enough. He was stripped of his garments. The soldiers even placed bets on who would win it. What about you? What is bringing you down? What are your hardships in life? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed are the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Station number 11. Jesus has nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by the Holy Cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus was hung on the cross. He is laughed at and spat upon. Everyone knows he is close to death. Jesus is nailed on the cross on his hands and his feet. 
Do you know how Jesus felt? Have you ever been laughed at or hurt? Have you ever felt deep pain? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Twelve Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus dies to save us from our sins. No one knew that he died for you and me. Have you ever loved someone so much that you would die for them? Jesus does. He loves you and me that much. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. The Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus came to ask for the body of Jesus. Joseph had offered his burial tomb for Jesus. He was gently removed from the cross and placed in the loving arms of his mother. His suffering is over. Mary surrenders him to the will of the Father. Let us thank Jesus for giving his life for us. Let us thank God the Father for sending his only Son for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Station 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus of Arimathea. Nicodemus and Mary went from Calvary to Jesus' burial tomb. Joseph and John carried Jesus into the tomb. The woman cover him in linen and lay him quietly in the tomb. They are shaken by his loss, but continue to hope. To hope. Have you ever lost anyone that you cared about so deeply? Will you still believe in God? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, you so love the world that you gave your only son who died and rose for all of us. Help me be thankful for the eternal life promised me. Help me approach you often for the forgiveness I need, the forgiveness Jesus won for me through his passion, death, and resurrection. Help me use the gift of the Holy Spirit to face all challenges that confront me. I know that sin, suffering, and death has been overcome by the resurrection of your son. Help me share the joy of all who have been redeemed that I may be renewed, made more perfect, and cry out with joy to all your people. Amen.